with the tones in the mushroom now looking about right, I could then move into the last step, which was to make some tonal adjustments, just like when I'm painting. Hi, it's Anna Mason, and in this mini class, let's take a quick look at how I built up layers of pencil to create this curvy little mushroom. I worked from a photo that I'd already made black and white and began by making the outline drawing. I did this freehand, aiming to recreate the curves and shapes I could see in the reference photo. I used the straight edge of the mechanical HB pencil I was using to make comparative measurements and judge where key points in the drawing should be. I used my mono eraser to make corrections where I spotted any lines I wanted to adjust. Drawing at the same size as my printed reference meant that I could easily cross-check any parts I needed to. Once I was happy with my outline, it was time to give the drawing 3D form. You might be surprised at just how similar this process is to the method I use for watercolour painting, even though it doesn't require any water or any colour. I switched to a 3B pencil and I held it low to the paper so that I was using the side of the tip. With varying amounts of pressure, I applied an even layer to every area of the mushroom's cap except for the lightest highlights, in the exact same way I would when I'm painting with watercolour. I worked in the direction of form, even though I'd be coming back to darken lots of these areas later. It helped to start to give it some shape. Keeping a light touch, I then gave the stem a similar treatment. It was really satisfying to see the mushroom start to look three-dimensional even at this early stage. Just like when I'm painting with watercolour, I now added in the very darkest tones in the mushroom to establish the other end of the tonal range. This was the blotchy pattern on the cap. This time, I held the pencil at a higher angle to my paper and applied more pressure to create really dark marks. I tuned in to the angles, shapes and positions of these marks as they'd be important for creating form. If you're familiar with my watercolour method, you may know that I sometimes refer to this disjointed point as the ugly duckling stage. And with a tonal drawing, it's no different. So the next step was to unite the tones by applying another layer of pencil in the cap's mid-tone areas. I continued working in the direction of form, making short squiggly marks and using more pressure than I did in the first layer, varying it where the tones were lighter or darker. I made sure I didn't layer over the highlight areas I'd taken care to isolate at the start. Looking back and forth between the photo and my drawing, I worked my way around the cap, darkening and adding detail where I could see it. With the tip of the pencil, I added extra markings and neatened up the edges around the cap, and then I turned my attention back to the stem. Starting with its darkest parts, I used the sharpened tip of my pencil to pick out the little speckly details. With a lighter pressure and lower pencil angle, I layered over the top of these marks, working into the main shadow, and lightly darken the mid-tone areas to bring them into balance with the rest of the drawing. I was using a combination of small dots and lines with the tip of my pencil to create texture, combined with even layers with the side of the tip to gently darken wherever I wanted to reduce the contrast or smooth the texture. With the tones in the mushroom now looking about right, I could then move into the last step, which was to make some tonal adjustments, just like when I'm painting. I began this stage by gently darkening the lightest tones which were on the underside of the cap. I worked my way around the rest of the mushroom next, making sure all the tones looked dark enough. Wanting to take the darkest tones even darker, I changed to my 8B pencil and continued working around the cap and stem, gently darkening with more layers and picking out more and more details. Lastly, I made sure my pencil was really sharp and I went around the edges of the mushroom to give it a crisp outline. And then my tonal drawing was finished. A full video class of this mushroom is available now in my online school. If you've enjoyed this mini class, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, then hop on over to animasonart.com where you can take full length video classes for free and find a whole heap of resources to help you access your artistic self. See you soon.